My dad has farmed all his life and he always knew he wanted to farm. But when I was in high school, I was just being a girl, I guess, and, and I wasn't really interested in the farm. But when I got to college, my heartstrings tugged back home. I said, Dad, you know, is there a place for me on the farm? And he was really excited and I think probably overwhelmed that he never thought I would come home to the farm and want to be a part. So I immediately changed my major to Ag Business and I graduated with a Bachelor of Science and Ag Business degree. I think that May I was in the field immediately after graduation on that next Monday morning. He put me right straight to work, so he, he held me to my word. I'm a, the fourth generation to actually till the land and uh, Hopefully there'll be a fifth. We have our monthly meetings. It's me and my father and my brother. We're a family business and we that's our board of directors. Well, it's important to us to be members and be a part of Rossland Cooperative because we get some say in the decisions and how it's run, how our rice crop is marketed and how it's handled. It seems to me that a lot of people don't really understand how much science and how much technology, how much accuracy is involved in production agriculture today. We have our, our phones, our smartphones and our iPads or tablets and computers and that's just a small part of technology that farmers have to use to be able to stay efficient and stay in business these days. My entire family lives in the middle of our farm. So it's very important to us to make sure that the environment is protected, that the land is conserved, water is conserved, and is safe and clean. I'm raising a son right here, so I certainly want to make sure that he's safe and that the food that we're producing on our farm is safe for my family to eat just like it is any other family. My family enjoys waterfowl hunting, but we also enjoy providing habitat and sanctuaries for the waterfowl to thrive in during those winter months as they are making their migration through our area. If it hasn't rained enough, we'll pump water onto the fields and we'll take a roller, a stubble roller behind a tractor and we'll roll that stubble down flat down into the water. It kind of shakes up all of the waste grain and the weed seeds or any other food that might be available for the waterfowl in the fields and just makes it like a waterfowl playground out there. If I'm invited to a potluck or, or going to uh, a baby shower or whatever the event might be, everyone knows that I'm going to bring a rice recipe. And so it, I'll try to promote rice and get people to eat rice and buy rice and try rice in new ways any chance I get. The fact that we every year start with a seed and produce a crop, people across the world are eating you know, rice that's grown right here on my farm. And that's very special feeling. It's, it gives you a great sense of accomplishment and, and pride in what we're doing.